everybody happy Sunday and it is 4 39 a.m. I'm doing laundry I'm being quiet because Steven and Bubby are still in bed asleep and I'm filming on a camera that I'm not super used to I use it a lot for like a sit-down video which I haven't recorded in ages but if you watched yesterday's vlogtober video I broke my camera. Um, Steven was amazing and he already ordered me one and it's going to be here November 2nd. But uh, yeah, so please be patient. If anything is out of focus, I do a lot more manual work on this one. This is the Canon EOS M50. It's a great camera. It's just a lot different and a lot more manual stuff has to happen. But it is Halloween, happy Halloween. Today we have a lot to do. We have to get the treat bags made. We need to get ready for the week. Steven has a job today. We have had these new pendants delivered and they are absolutely beautiful. I think with this rug, it's just going to like bring in a lot more warmth. They look smaller than they are. So on camera, they don't look that large, but they're actually pretty big. But really excited to get these up. Steven actually did all the hard work yesterday. So he like did all the measuring, all the splicing of the wires and has them all set and ready to go. That's the most amazing, well, one of the amazing things about him, he has done all of our light fixtures. We have replaced a lot of them and he does all the electricity work. He actually does like a lot. He's very handy. He like puts faucets in, he does all the things. So yes, we're going to get this day started. I need some coffee. Let's turn on this bad boy. While he is heating up, Let's get the Christmas tree on. This tree, I'm gonna try to leave it linked below. It is from King of Christmas. The reason I might not be able to put it in the description box below is because it might be sold out. I actually ordered this tree in, it would have probably been January of, this year um, and I just got it delivered maybe a few weeks ago but it's so beautiful and it just really is starting to connect the theme it goes so well with the garland I filmed yesterday all right coffee is heating up oh, look at that I mean isn't it so good I think when you're in person and you can see like all the willow branches and everything, it even has more impact. I'm gonna turn the lights on. I did start just doing some cleaning out. So I got rid of like most of the pumpkins that are on the first floor and I did add a couple little pieces. I haven't done any styling. I don't, this, I find this very hard to style. I don't know how much longer we'll keep this piece. It's a very good piece. It was not cheap, but it's hard to sometimes style. I did pick this up. They just so happened to have this at my Target. It is from Hearth and Hand, the Magnolia line. I always get it confused if it's Hearth and Home or Hearth and Hand, but um, they just happened to have it and I grabbed it. We definitely need coffee. Every day, because I have so many mugs, I can never decide which one to use. I feel like I haven't used this one in a really long time. So, we'll go with this little rainbow guy. When you were with me, this is what you signed up for. We're just walking around the house. I'm talking about coffee mugs and laundry. I mean enthralling, enthralling vlog content. Yesterday we talked about Boba's in the bathroom. Um, same coffee as yesterday. I tried to link this for all of you. It's the Sonoma Syrup Company. It was all sold out on Amazon, which is the best price I've been able to find. 
it's like $20 a bottle, but um, and now I feel really bad because I bought an overstock of it. I actually am setting that aside for company for Thanksgiving so that we have it, but it is so good if you can get your hands on it. I will link their direct site. I haven't, I don't know anything about their shipping or anything. Like I said, I picked mine up at a little boutique store that carried it. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in, a little bit of half and half after it's done. Same thing as yesterday. <laughs> perfect coffee every time. All right, I am going to do my devotions and kind of settle into the morning, probably get a workout in pretty shortly. I know someone's going to ask where this like Zhuzhi cardigan sweater is from. It is from UGG. Once again, I will try to leave it linked down below for you. It's amazing, I love it. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my tree, enjoy my garland, enjoy my coffee. I want you to find time to enjoy something really small today as well. I find this is my favorite time of the day where I can just like ease into everything. Everything is so quiet, my time is mine. And yeah, find these small moments because they're sometimes the best things and then the things that you can cling through when the day feels a little hectic. So I'm just going to enjoy all the things. It is eight o'clock. And I bet you're wondering, Christopher, what have you been up to? And if you haven't been, why are you still watching? <laughs> um, I've been up to absolutely nothing. I have washed and dried clothes. And now, is it really doing laundry if I don't let this sit for at least seven to 10 days now in the basket? I want to go get a haircut this morning. I have stopped getting fancy haircuts because I don't do anything fancy with my hair. But before I do that, I really want to get these treat bags taken care of. So I think that's what I'm going to do. These are all done. I have them in this old bucket I bought at Target many moons ago. I'm going to set it over here. And we are ready for the trick-or-treaters. I'm going to hurry up, get dressed, so I can go sneak a haircut. All right, friends, I am back from a haircut. It's not styled. And I am back from doing our grocery shopping and they're already put away. I have to share something with you. So I'm sure on Instagram, you have seen the shoe company Allbirds. They are wool-based shoes. They're sustainably made. And I was lucky enough to have Allbirds reach out to me and they sent me a pair of shoes. They allowed me to pick a pair. They are the most comfortable, warm, cozy shoe, especially now for winter. They're amazing. And let me show you these shoes. So in hindsight, I could have gotten a different color. I've treated these, they are going to get dirty, but I love them. They are wool on the inside, on the outside. They have a rubber sole. They feel so good on your feet. It's like the perfect fall, cold weather shoe. I can't say enough about them. I have them linked below. Go check them out. You will love them. I think they make great gifts. They are amazing. Amazing, I love them. I have seen them and I've debated on them. I think I've had them in a cart and then not checked out. And they reached out to me and they sent me a pair. And let me tell you, I will be buying more. So check them out. It's a great gift. They have men's, they have women's. Um, yeah, I cannot say enough about them. So groceries are put away and it's rainy and cold. So we're probably gonna chill out. Steven took Bubba's for a walk and then is going to put up our pendant lights. So 
I will unveil those when we're done. The new pendants are up. The scale of them is so good. They match the brass exactly on our faucet, as well as all the hardware on the dark cabinets, but they just look so good. I love them, and when you don't have the lights on and you just have those, I love that it all the light shines down and dispenses across the floor. Before, with the other lights, we lost so much light on the ceiling, whereas this really pushes the light out. It looks really good. I'm so happy with them. After we got them up, Stephen was like really into them too. Like they felt like the right call. Ah, oh, I love them. What a difference. I also feel like it adds so much with the rug. This kitchen has really come a long way. It's like the little things. Like I love the structure of this kitchen. There's not a whole lot I would change, but like changing out hardware, changing out lights, all those little things make a huge difference. They feel so great. Oh, yay. Trick or treater should be coming around 545, I think. And um, Steven is actually going to take Bubba's to like a costume party at the Historical Society. I think it's like a dog costume competition. <laughs> so that should be interesting. I don't know what we're gonna do for dinner yet. Steven um, is gonna be really busy this week, so it's going to be pretty low key and a lot of time with me and Bubba's, but. Bubby is getting ready for his run at the Historical Society. They're having a Halloween spectacular for pets. What options do we have? Okay, so he's going to, it's, it's a contest. So I don't know what he wants is over there. So he gets a pet lobster, which is the, which is his first Halloween costume. It's the oldie but goodie. Was that the first? It was, yes. Dinosaur. Well, that's a good one because that's a headpiece. He loves a good headpiece. Today, bum oh, they put two got mixed together. Bumblebee, which always is, is a good, um, is wings and a little uh, antenna thing. Skunk. Which I think is very original. It's original and appropriate because he got sprayed by a skunk. I thought there was one more. No, these are Christmas costumes. Christmas Every, costumes. He has his uh, Halloween. He has his Thanksgiving collar for Thanksgiving. The gobble gobble one. These are Christmas costumes and sweaters. Yeah, so these don't count. So I guess he only has four options. Okay, which one do you want? When you get to choose, you get, you have four. Which one? Neither. Let's go. I don't see any sequins. Well, there there is glitter on the bumblebee. Bubby, go over and check them out. What's over there? What is it? Oh, I got. Well, is it is it two? Do we do, do we narrow it down to two, or do we do the bumble? I think we narrowed it down to two. I think he has to then pick. All right. Out of well, those I, two. I honestly don't think that the lobster fits him anymore. <laughs> what are you saying? He's put on a few pounds since his uh, his youth. Okay, fine. So which one do you want? Looky, looky. What's, what's this? What? Which which one? Uh. All right. It. I think you settled on the bee. I I I agree. Is it the bumblebee? I think that actually fits him too. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Well. The skunk is not great for him because it blends in with his fur and nobody knows what he is, but the bee is... I'm out of here. I thought we had something else. Oh, it fits. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. I'm going for the win. Hold on, we need you a little high dress. The ears go through here. <laughs> okay. All right. 
Bubby, you want to go for you want to go for a walk? Lucky. Do you want to go for a walk? <gasps> it's a bumblebee. It's a cutest bumblebee. Hi. Hi. I think this is a good one. All right, so that's what Bubba's is for Halloween this year. He's a bee. He's a bumblebee? He's a bumblebee? Now he's trying to fly off. Which is ironic because he's scared to death of flies and bees. Hey, he's a bumblebee? He's a queen bee. His hive is in the backyard. He's Beyonce. He's Beyonce. <laughs> He's the beehive. We should have like a... All the single ladies. All the single ladies. I'm happy as a clam. With that, we are going to end this vlog. And I think I will keep you updated if he wins at the Historical Society. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Take care of others. And be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time. Bye-bye.